Merry Christmas and welcome back to the Craft Mansion. I'm David and this is my Christmas, this is my Christmas jumper, jumper. In today's video I will be customizing these two denim jackets with Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Before the filming I was given two designs and this is Minnie Mouse and this is Mickey Mouse. Then I also designed the words Mickey and Minnie which are somewhere in these letters so I can then use all of this stuff as templates on the jackets themselves. Before starting any design on fabric I tape said fabric to a piece of wood to flatten it out. I traced the outline onto the jacket using a black pen. Then I cut out all the black parts and traced the outlines of the new parts. I painted a base coat of white in all the areas where black wasn't present. By the way, all the paints I used are water-based acrylics and I added a bit of water to them to prevent the jacket from being too stiff and to reduce the amount of cracking once the paint was dry. Then I traced all the remaining lines where there was a color difference. For example, like here, there's the red tongue and peach face. Once those were finished, I proceeded to filling in all the colors. Finally, on went the black areas, which needed no base code, because they're, they're black. Using a thin marker, I created all the outlines to define the different features of the character. Then I moved on to the name, so I repositioned the fabric on the piece of wood and aligned the letters with the center of the jacket. I traced the outline, cut off the 3D effect part and traced the rest. I've just finished the Mickey jacket, so obviously next up is Minnie Mouse. Now, Minnie is slightly smaller than Mickey, even though they should be the same size. And that's because I had to make them slightly proportionate to their jackets. The Minnie jacket is a bit smaller, so obviously I couldn't make her the same size as Mickey. She wouldn't fit, basically. So I had to find a balance between having them both almost the same size, while also being proportionate in size to their jackets. Just like the previous jacket, I traced the outer outline and the outlines between black and colors using a black pen. Minnie was a bit more complicated as in the black areas she had some white outlines to define for example the different hands or feet. So I had to trace these as well by creating cutouts in the template.
In the original design I was given, Minnie had a white face and I forgot to match it to Mickey's speech, so I just had to go over it again and then redo some outlines. And finally, the Mickey and mini jackets are done. I do find projects like these quite relaxing because either when I'm painting something like this on a denim jacket or I'm doing a larger project like the TARDIS on my wardrobe or the Hogwarts luggages on my drawers, it's just paint that's involved. I don't need to think about what materials I need to use and I don't need to measure a lot of stuff. So these videos are also quite a break to me from the other big props I usually do. Now when this video comes out it will probably be after Christmas but as I'm filming it Christmas still hasn't come and I got this amazing early Christmas present which is this huge toolbox filled with a lot of stuff I usually used to borrow from my dad so I'm quite looking forward to using many of these and you might even see some of them being hung on here so I can start, you know, using this thing properly instead of having a lot of junk on it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you think I should do next. If you haven't done so already, please ring the notification bell down below and subscribe from here. These are some more videos from my channel and until next time, I forgot my line. And until next time, these are the Mickey and Minnie jackets. I'm David, and this is the Craft Mansion. Merry Christmas, everyone! Yo!